Hello, my wondrous weasels. Welcome back to the game cave. Weasel Bandit here. We will continue our, uh, well, job building thing here in Prison Architect where we are. We've actually come a long way. We've built all the cells and all the utilities and all of that. So, well, all the big stuff is, is really over right now. But we still need to fill out the insides of the prison here. First of all, I would like to bulldoze some things. And the first thing I would like to bulldoze is the office building up here. Right, all of this, because we won't need the offices right now, and we won't need offices right here at all. Yeah, and okay, okay, it, I thought it, it was lagging and crashing there. Also, I would like to bulldoze all of this in here. There is a small problem. We should have bulldozed this here before we placed the water heaters, because now the water heaters will also be dismantled and that will screw up the utilities. That is unfortunate, but we can't really help it unless we do something else, um, like keeping the inside track there. But, well, we can always rebuild the water heaters and and the, uh, and the utilities. And of course, the reason that uh, we are bulldozing this is because we want a yard. And I like to have a big yard in the middle and then just the service buildings or whatever you would call these buildings right here. Then just have those in the middle of the yard. <coughs> right. While they are finishing up with this, I will just touch up on all of the utilities. We will need some new large pipes going here. And also down here. And then some electrical cables. See down here there is no problem, but up on this one we need to replace a few of them here at least, maybe some more else as well. Yeah. Down here also. Great. So that's being built now. While they are doing that, we might as well just replace the water heaters. That is also in here. Oh, the water boiler, if you will. Da -dum, da -dum. Oh, uh, just a little hint here. Wait until they've placed all the uh, the large water pipes before you build the water heater on top of it. Because if I were to build the water heater here, then uh, they would then they wouldn't build the large water pipe for some reason. It's a bug or something like that. All right, that was all the water heaters, and within a few moments, I think we will see that there is no blinking lights. I think that's already already there. Great, awesome. So onward to building the actual walls of the buildings that we need to build now. First of all, I would like to remove all of the rooms, the rooms that are here. Uh, all of the, the storage and the deliveries and there as, as well. Great, and also down here, the garbage should not go in here. The, this is for offices and also the exports. If you look at this, you'll see that there is an export room right there. Right there where all these people are. Uh, can't I, can I get you to move? Come on. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Right there. There is an export room right there. That's also why these guys like to be here. If we just remove that room right there, oh, and also here, then they will go away. So that was what I was talking about in an earlier video where I uh, forgot to remove the delivery room right up here and said that it could mess up these things. So that should have been done earlier, but it's done now. So I guess it's okay. Great. And we will also, let's just remove that as well. We will need 
and you export. Let's just keep it down here. And uh, let's have the rooms all the way to there. And then we'll just need to, let's see, is it like that? How long is that? That is 65. Well, that's, uh, then let's say 30. Right there. I think that was 30. Yeah, 30. And then we will have the garbage there. From there, and then just 30 down as well. Great. Then we have two rooms here, outdoor rooms. We'll do the same with storage. 30 up, and then deliveries. Third. Oi, I don't want to. I want to have it here. Great. Will that still fit? That will still fit. Awesome. We'll just trim the export here. As well and then we will do this and then all the way up to 30 from there awesome now we have those rooms taken care of now we will build the walls of the different parts of the prison and that's all the walls are just these lines that we've built earlier great and then don't forget to have the doors, these will be offices, so we'll need staff doors right there. Awesome. And this will be the uh, reception for the prisoners, so we will need a large jail door right there. Great. Now for this. I'm pausing the game here because I just, I don't want to. Well, I want to make it easier for me, so I'll just create a wall all the way here, and then just remove what parts of the wall that I don't want to keep. In this large building here. I don't want to place any of the interior vertical uh, walls because I have special plans for this large one. So we'll just keep doing this and this. Great. And now to delete the parts of the walls we don't want. Oh. We need this one also. Great. We want to have doors here. We want to have hallways here. So, of course, we won't need these walls here. And that goes for all the way down here. All the way down. Oh, we also need this one. Yeah. And then, of course, we won't need this and this. And the other two should also be deleted. And, of course, this one. As I said before, you can really choose how to... Oh, have I said that before or have I just thought about saying that before? Never mind, I'll say it now. You can pretty much choose what you want to do here with the interior. The, the main part of this, all of this, is to have all of the rooms that we lack right now. We want to have that, uh, all of these rooms built inside of this along with some offices then and a reception there. So that's just the point of it. You can do it pretty much however you like. You can read what requirements there are for each room and what it does uh, if you hover the mouse over it. But this is just how I have chosen to do it. Great. And then we will wait for the walls to be finished. Oh, of course, I want to I want to delete these because I have also I also have a special plan for this building. And I will just plan that out while they are building the rooms or the walls finished here. Oh, 
all right. Now I have designed this building right here, the way I want it. And uh, I wanted this building to be completely, uh, well, everything that has to do with security and uh, stuff like that. Like uh, the kennel, the armory, the security room, the parole office, and then just for good measure, just to keep this building completely personnel only, the staff room and the infirmary. I've also placed the morgue over here because we won't need all of these small rooms as offices. So the morgue will be here, we won't need anything bigger than this, this will do just fine. Also over here we've built a lot of solitary rooms. And a uh, quick count, it's like I think 64 solitary rooms uh, we have right here. And uh, that should be enough I think. Uh, for out of that's that's more than ten percent, but yeah, that's more that's more than ten percent of the whole prison uh, <laughs> being locked up in solitary confinement at once. So I'm I'm hoping it won't come to that, but this is how I've built it here. And th there are two things that I want want that I've saved to let you guys know about before I fix it. One of them is this. You can see now suddenly these lights don't have power. The reason for that, we can see inside utilities, if we go inside here, we can see the difference right here. These lights are getting, uh, well, power from these electric cables, but these are not, aren't not, these aren't not, the, that's the double negative, these are not getting power from those, because there is a room blocking it. So what we will do here, just to facilitate, or to rectify this is simply to build an extension, ex expansion, extension, uh, extension of the electrical grid to here. And for good measure, we'll just go, yeah, go to this. Then there should be more than enough. Great. We can also see that these guys are uh, well, flickering about, like chickens with their heads cut off. That's because there are no doors here, so in the best The Sims style, they would die, given the opportunity that the, uh, the workers can die from hunger or thirst or not being, being able to go to the bathroom. But the, they can't, so we could just have them locked up there and just watch them squirm. <laughs> okay, a little bit on the dark side, but that's okay, because we are in a prison. Woo Great. Uh, also, this one here. This one is a pain in the backside. Literally, the worst thing about the AI in this game. Whenever you build, I've I, what I did, I built these here and then I just quick built the rest of it. With the result that these walls got built before these corners. Now there's no way to access that corner. That means that this corner won't ever be built unless you do something about it. As something like this, you simply demolish the wall next to it and then you will have to rebuild that once they've built these. It's a pain, especially if you have this kind of grid or build up down here. Luckily we don't have any of those corners so it's not too bad but oh I've tried to... I've, I've, I've come in, into a situation where I've had to I think rectify like 70 of those corners uh, in in the prison uh, the prison cell blocks here it, it, it was terrible but never mind that has been dealt with and uh, these should stop yeah now it works awesome we will let these rooms be for now because we want to um, we, we want to design the how these works will be, what these work uh, these rooms will be before we put anything into the rooms. Great. But the first thing we could do is to build some offices because we know that we will need them. Let's see offices. Where are they? Where are they? They are there. For some reason, I can never find offices whenever I do. Let's st start with four of them. I can't remember if we need four or five at the moment, because we won't need the accountant anymore. The accountant has done its job by researching all of this, and because we have the unlimited money perk, 
from the beginning, we won't need the accountant to be able to handle negative daily cash flow. So that is that is quite all right. Let's see, we'll just do this and this and that and that. Awesome. And then in the offices, you will need some chairs and some desks and some filing cabinets. We'll just place that real quick. Oh, yeah. If you haven't noticed, no, no, if you haven't noticed it, then you will realize that down here, if you zoom in on a uh, on a room where you have filled out the room, what room it's, it's going to be, and then you can see what you will need to fill it out with in uh, out here. They will be marked. Like say, if we go over here, they they, they suggest a solitary door. I don't think that's quite necessary. I think. Uh, <laughs> 200 for a jail doll is quite all right, and then just have a guard post in here. That works fine for me, but armory, you need weapon rack, guard locker, office security, you need final cabinet, office desk, and all that. You can see pretty easily what you want to fill in, because it's marked with a white line around it. Yes. Awesome. Filing cabinets, and then it is done. And um, we might as well just go inside here and fire the two accountants we've got right now. So the ones who needs officers will be the uh, warden, the foreman, the lawyer, the lawyer, the the lawyer, and the chief. So that means we have this room to spare. Should we need something? So yeah, should we need a small room for something? Now to fill out these. I want this building to be completely filled with workshops. So let's just do that. Oh, inside the room tab, of course, workshop. What we will do here is we will, uh, we'll need some doors to, to do this. This is, uh, is quite, um, yeah, th this is a little bit of a, uh, a neat trick, or uh, I don't know if that qualifies as a neat trick or something, but I uh, I've found out that w if you have a workshop, the maximum number of prisoners you can have working in a workshop or in any room is 20, and the size of, of the room decides how much, uh, how many you can have. So, like, if you build a workshop, let's go in here again and workshop there. If we build a workshop on this size, then there might only be room enough for, let's say, 10 workers to work. But it's, if it's this size, it might be 20. But if it's bigger th than that, then it's still 20. So we want to have it as small as possible, but still with as many workers allowed as possible, of course. The only way to do that is to go inside logistics here and see, oh, Max jobs, 20. Yes. Up here, max jobs, 11. And this just highlights the entire room because you actually need to, uh, well, uh, separate the workshop from the rest of the room here with a wall. But you can still see how many workers can be in there. So we'll just uh, go again and say workshop and then do a simple line more and then go into logistics and see now we can have 12. So let's just... Do that a few times more. Let's just take two lines now and see. 15. We are nearing the end. Let's see now. Three more. Logistics. 18. Two more. Awesome. 20. Great. So now we have the preferred size of the workshops. And let's just see how that is. Workshop there. And that is exactly 15 times 16. So, let's see, that will be... It requires a, uh, an a surface area of 240 squares. So, right here, it'll be 15 times 16. So, that means that this should also be 20 still. That is correct. Great. Then we will just see if we can't do that a few more times. Workshop there. 15 times 
16. Was that correct? 15 times 16, yes. And that works out perfectly. There's exactly room enough to have four 15 times 16 rooms on both the top and the bottom. So that is amazing. And also, of course, to have a hallway in between them. So that is just great. We'll just build the walls up. Oh, no, 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 no. There won't be enough room to have a hallway in between them. Hmm. Okay, then I guess we'll just have to uh, have a wall in between them and then just have a few of the rooms being bigger than, than the others. I guess that's... Because if we had needed, we, if we were to have a hallway in between them, we would need more than just two to separate there. This will just make a thick, very thick wall. We would need to have it there, but then the size there, the size of the workshop there, wouldn't be as uh, large enough for it. So um, we'll just have the wall there and there, and then just have this workshop move, perhaps. Yeah, moved, of course. Workshop there to move there and then remove there and do the same up here there and there and then do this the same in this direction and then we'll have a pretty wide hallway in the middle that works out fine for me and of course we will need some doors in each room i like to to build the walls one tile from the wall no, not there. I want. I like to build the doors, one tile from the door. <sighs> Let's just rewind a bit. I like to build the doors, one tile from the walls. Thank you. <sighs> yes, so that's how I do it on either side, and of course, change the direction <clears throat> the door is facing, so that they will open symmetrically so it will be both practical and aesthetically pleasing that's just how I roll <laughs> great and then of course dismantle or demolish the wall here and here and then we need to put doors in on either side of there because this will be the hallway and in the end, of course. In the end, the doors really matter. Great. <coughs> also, so this here is a building containing eight workshops, and that is just great because the workshops provide money for you. If you want, or that's the most practical way that I've found to do it all the at least the way I like it the most, uh, is to have a lot of workshops and a lot of workers working in the workshops, and then you'll be able to make money off of what they make in the workshops. You know what, let's just put in the doors in all of these buildings and hallways and rooms and everything. So that is done. Yes, and then just in the two other buildings as well. Great. So now the doors are almost all in, and we can focus on the last uh, uh, 12 rooms left. The six right here and the six right here. Awesome. We will need a common room. And actually, I think we will build a few of them. Perhaps four. The four that are right here, the two here, and the two here. We could also demolish the walls inside here and then just make two large common rooms. I made, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And then I'll build doors on either side there as well. Demolish, dismantle the light there. And then do the same over here with 
the doors. Great. A lot of this is just preferences, how you like to do it. And, uh, well, this is how I like to do it. Well, right now. So, common room there and there. Uh, great. And, of course, we will need to, to demolish the doors that we've installed. Or, not demolish, dismantle the doors right there. And also the doors right there. And then just build the common room up there. Great. Then we have two large common rooms. I like that. So we have uh, eight rooms left. And we need to build some classrooms. We'll just do this for now. And we'll have we'll need a mail room. We'll need a chapel. We'll need a shop. We will need visitation. That's right there. I think we'll build that over here because that's closer to the entrance. We'll have a library. We'll put that in there. This, this is just to see if we have enough rooms left for what rooms we need. Execution. I think that I would like to have execution over here in the small room. Or perhaps we should have that in here where the staff room is. Because the staff room doesn't actually need to be that big. So we'll have the staff room up there. That's great. Now we need some a forestry that's outdoors. I don't think we have room for this anywhere, so we'll have to find a solution for that later. Oh, I forgot something. We'll need to build the perimeter wall. <laughs> Finish that up here where we demolished the first offices. That's very important. Otherwise, people can just waltz in and out as they please. Great. So now we've got this. We need the last rooms. We have laundry left that will that we will put right in here, and we have the cleaning cupboard that we also need to put in. Shower. We won't need showers because every uh, cell have their own shower, so we won't need to have actual shower time. We will need the yard, and that is all the outdoor area right here. The great thing about having the yard this way is that, let, let's say that uh, this building right here was the entire yard. Then all the prisoners would have to come from all of the different cell blocks and then meet. That would create a lot of stress or, well, a lot of tension because all of these prisoners from this one and all the prisoners, prisoners from this one would meet at this corner. And where a lot of prisoners meet, there is trouble. But now, once they are outside their own canteen, they are in the yard. So that means that each and every cell block will only, will roughly stay within their own cell block area. So they won't actually be 500 inmates going at, it, at, it, at each other's throats uh, at the same time, at the same place in the yard, because the entire outdoor area will be the yard. And I think that that is, uh, is worth building around or well, working around something, some solution to make that happen, that they are spread out over a large yard. I like that. So that's how I have done it. All right. I don't think we. Oh yes, of course we need a holding cell. Huh. <laughs> huh. Yes. Where will we build the holding cell? We won't actually need a holding cell except to have one of the grants. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna build a. No, I can't do that. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna fire the lawyer. The lawyer. I'm gonna fire the lawyer. Oh, oh, come on. Really? Office. There. I am gonna fire him because I won't really need him unless I am trouble. I am in trouble and will need to research this. And then I can always hire him and then build a, a quick office for him. So I'll fire him for now. Then I will dismantle the objects in the foreman's office and remove the office there. Then the when, then the foreman will take that office up there and we will have room to build a holding cell down here. And I think that was all of the rooms taken care of. Except the dormitory, but we won't we won't really need that. Because that's just to cramp uh, to cram 
more prisoners inside a smaller or well several prisoners inside one room instead of have one having them being in their own rooms and given that this is a luxury prison we won't want to do that great so we've actually managed managed to well disperse all of uh, all of the rooms evenly over the uh, over the prison here I've got a few things I want to do before I finish this. In the next video we will go over filling in and designing the interiors of all of these rooms. But right now I have a few things that are a couple of things I want to do before we end this video. First of all, I want to finally put in sinks in in uh, in the prison uh, kitchen. And the reason I haven't done that before is simply because I forgot to after I placed the uh, the water heaters and I couldn't place the water heaters bef uh, before building the sinks because you need to build the sinks around the water heaters because the water heaters needed to have that exact position but this works out just fine now that we have this set up because well there is a lot of room to build the sinks and this, this should be more than enough for what we will need and of course we will also need to put them in in the top here awesome now all the sinks have been placed and I want to do a quick recap of all the doors, all the staff doors from the canteen to the kitchen because I've realized that some of them are not placed properly. Properly, proper, proper, properly, yeah, properly. Like th these ones, they are going in the same direction. I want them to go in the opposite direction of each other. Great, so there were two doors that needed to be fixed. This doesn't have any, uh, let's say, practical use or practical yeah, thing about it, but I like symmetry as I've said before, so this will be how it is. Awesome! Now the very, very last thing I want to do before we finish is to be, uh, make the prison a little bit nicer to look at. like. What we have here is just shrubbery and uh, weed and, and gravel and stuff like that. So I want to have grass all around the prison. It is a nice prison, of course, so we will need that. The good thing about this is you can just hold down and then build all here. Because everything that is not outdoors will not be affected. And as you can see in here, the small yards on the inside of the prison blocks, prison four cell squares, uh, they are also being marked with green, so there will actually be actually be grass in there. It's uh, it needs to be maintained, so you might want to build like a road or stone or concrete tiles or something like that in there, because you will need gardeners to maintain it all. But well, you can do it however you like. One quick thing here, be careful when you go come to here. If you just build over there, you will delete the tiles that are here, the pavement if you will. So you can either just do this and then uh, build the pavement again, or you can go down to here and then build some more grass, or lay down some more grass over here. Awesome. We'll just wait until they finish and then we'll, we'll be able to see it in the daylight and see how nicer, how much nicer it looks. All right, that always takes a lot of time to lay down grass, but the result looks a little bit nicer. Of course we can't see it very well right now because it is night time, but we can do something while we wait and I think that I would like to make some 
uh, some kind of pathways to walk on once you need, uh, well, once, well, yeah, for the inmates and for the guards to walk on. Yeah. So, what I will do there, I will lay down hmm, concrete tiles. Are they nice to look at? I don't know. You, they, you walk fast on them, they look like this. Uh, I could also lay down some stones. Gravel, road, no. I will lay down concrete tiles. Awesome. And I think I'll just make a... Not a circle, but a square circle. All the way around the preson, right here. And then I will make some smaller pathways to the large pathways. If you don't understand what I say, just wait a bit. Like this, then perhaps I would have... Hmm... Let's see how this looks. It might look stupid, but I don't... I don't know. We'll try it and we can always make it different. Alright, I actually think that this looks quite nice. Of course, the, it could be done in a number of other ways. You could use paving stones instead of concrete tiles. You could just let this go all the way down there um, without having this. And uh, yeah, well, there's a lot of different ways that it could have been done. But I actually like this. This looks great. There, there are grass for the prisoners and there are paving stones. Oh. We need to have something over here as well. I think that I will have have it like this and then just up there. Then they can walk to all the doors and it still looks kind of symmetrical. So I liked it. Great. I think it looks quite nice and the grass does make it all look a little bit nicer. A little bit more inviting, a little bit more festive, if you will. Hey! Yes. Um, one thing to notice is that there is still, there are still weeds and flowers and uh, something that looks like puke all around the prison. But it really doesn't matter at this moment because later on we will hire gardeners to fix that. They will only fix what's inside the outer perimeter walls. But uh, that's also quite all right. So with this, I think that we will end this episode and we will move on to the next one, which will be filling in and designing the interiors of all of these rooms. And uh, after that, I think we have a prison that are ready, that is ready for our prisoners. So uh, we are nearing the opening day and we still have uh, like $741,000 to go. We might just be a tad over budget, but that's that's okay because we will start out by having a lot of prison in prisoners coming into the prison and uh, a lot of grants that will be fulfilled, and therefore we will get some money from that. There you go. All right. Well, that having been done, I uh, think that we can finish this episode pretty happily if we can just have that also I think that was it great so thanks for being here at the game cave guys whistle bandit here we'll see you in the next episode bye